New tonight, it is official. The Justice Department will release the redacted Mueller report on Thursday. But after weeks of publicity, in which they were demanding this report, despite the no collusion headline from the Attorney General William Barr, will any of these lawmakers on the left finally be happy? I think we know the answer to that, right? Which is why the left has now moved on. And now they're setting their sights on the president's tax returns. Joining me right now is former 2016 Trump campaign advisor Michael Caputo, who says the FBI, the Obama FBI, attempted to frame him in the 2016 election. Michael, I know that they sent a Russian working for the U.S. government to try and entice you into something. We're going to get to that in a second. But first, your thoughts here on the Dems' attempt to get their hands on the president's taxes. Well, I think they're fixated on it, actually. I remember all of this during the 2016 election. I, I believe that they're, you know, it's just like the wall. They're not going to give the president the wall, even though the wall is necessary. There's a crisis at the border, and it would save a lot of lives. They, they, they want the tax returns because the president is on a position about never giving them. That's why they want them. They want to defeat him finally at something. I also believe that they're going to try and find a, a path to impeachment with obstruction in this report. Uh, obviously, collusion's off the table, so they got to go somewhere with it. Mm. I think that they're uh, they're a little stressed though now stressed because mm -hmm. you know if I'm them right now I'm actually kind of terrified because I think the tables are about to turn. I think that the inspector general's report and the fact that the attorney general of the United States of America William Barr is saying yes that spying did happen in this campaign right. they're preparing themselves for something else entirely. They're trying to use the tax thing as a distraction. I would argue that the IRS is actually a federal agency and so someone within our government has seen the president's tax returns and I would think as part of the Mueller investigation he might have looked into a few of these financial angles as he tried to figure out whether or not the president was colluding with the Russians himself. That said, now they're trying to change things around because Michael, you know what they were up to. Explain what happened right. to you and what you think Horowitz's report is going to get into. Well, I, I had a, a Russian, uh, a dangerous, you know, violent Russian criminal who'd spent 13 years in jail in Russia and the United States for gun crimes in the United States call me up and af offer me dirt on Hillary Clinton. I find out, you know, shortly thereafter by hiring a private investigator that, that the guy had been working for the FBI as an informant for 17 years. In fact, was in the country on FBI informant visas for most of that time. And by the way, he's here now. Still still here, probably watching your show. I mean, uh, the fact of the matter is I tried to give that uh, information to the inspector general. I tried to give that information to U.S. Attorney Huber out in Salt Lake, and they weren't interested at all. Mm. They, were, they didn't. I never heard back. So My attorney concerned. wrote to the inspector okay. general twice and never heard back. Well, I'm glad you're getting this out there because people should know. So basically, you had someone from the Obama FBI uh, hire this guy to come and try and entice you with this information, maybe in hopes that you'd say, sure, give it to me. It would be fake, false information. They could say, see, look, we told you they were trying to collude with the Russians. Right, it's the old, the old push in and pull out, you know. Uh, they try and put some information in. They did the same thing to Papadopoulos. Drop in some information that they can try and get out later and say that they I got that from a Russian. You know, I think part of the reason why, uh, for example, we haven't heard anything about Henry Greenberg, the fake name he used to come to me, is because they That doesn't they sound don't, very they, Russian, by know, the way. <laughs> it doesn't, but you know, I can tell from his accent that he's Russian. I don't want to. I don't think they want to talk about him because I've proven it at DemocratDossier.com. You can see the 140 pages of research I did on this guy. Mm -hmm. We had copy. We got copies of 14 of his FBI inv informant visas at, up there at DemocratDossier.com. This guy's clearly working for the FBI, and they're running away from him as fast as they can, mm -hmm. just like they're running away from Professor Mifsud. How so? Well, I mean, it's Professor Mifsud, who someone clearly sent to George Papadopoulos to tell him about the fiction of, you know, Russians mm -hmm. having Hillary Clinton's emails. He then disappears. We don't even know where he is. George apparently thinks he's in Italy, but George has, has proof that this guy was actually working on behalf of the FBI. You know, they don't want to talk about Mifsud either, just like they don't want to talk about Greenberg, because they've been caught red-handed with him. So what do you suspect the FBI was doing in 2016? 
Well, we, they're a very uh, aggressive group, the FBI. When they're after a crime, a real crime, they're not going to just send one spy, Stefan Halper, into a couple of volunteers who were in the policy shop at the campaign and call it a day. You know, they were sending uh, informants and spies into the campaign, mm -hmm. I'm guessing by the dozens, at least trying every angle that they could, because okay, they so, wanted so to stop Trump so badly, they wouldn't do, just do it with one or question, two guys. Right? What, what were the motives that the Obama FBI might have had? In other words, if they legitimately thought that there were some bad actors in the campaign, uh, I can understand them wanting to investigate. I do question why they never brought that to the attention of the candidate himself mm -hmm. um, or others high up. Uh, Corey Lewandowski was on the show the other night. I said, did they ever approach you and say they were worried about spying? No, they never actually uh, clued anyone in on this. So they, they had all these people running around trying to figure out whether you guys were somehow an agent or the president, now president, was an agent of Russia. If that had been justified, I get it. But I think the big concern is it may not have been, may not have been at all. And that's what the attorney general needs to get to the bottom of, right? It is. Yeah, I, I love Sidney Powell's book, License to Lie, an incredible book that goes into detail about how the main, the main justice, the headquarters office of justice, gets very politicized, did during the Enron investigation, which is what she wrote about. But her, her book stands tall in this situation. Here's what's the problem. Here's what the problem is. They're highly political in, in, the, uh, in the main justice office, and they, have a, they had, had, under Obama, a perverse sense of right and wrong, and their role in what's right and wrong. That's what went wrong here. They went off on the deep end with some kind of strange leftist tilt, and they found themselves crossways with our, our rule of law and our, and our legal traditions of this country. We're going to find out they just went off the rails because they were so concerned that the Democrats were going to lose control of the government. Well, I'm looking forward to Thursday. I'm going to have a lot of reading to do when oh. that Mueller report comes out. Uh, I'm sure you I will, too. I am, too. too. I'm just, and absolutely. I hope you come back on. I'd like to talk to you about it on Thursday. Michael Caputo, thank you for your time tonight.